Hello everyone, we will continue that topic data migration using Puppy. And we will go for same to same requirement. We will upload the or we will migrate the material master data using Puppy now. Previously, we uploaded the materials using BDC, then LSMW. Now we will achieve the requirement through BAPI. Now, if I will go to the BDC program, which we created to upload or to migrate the legacy data, what we did in that particular program, we we are getting the file name. We are getting the file name into this particular parameter. We read the data in the file using GUI upload function module. Once we get that data, legacy data into this internal table, we use the recording for each and every record. Same thing we will do here also. It means till reading the data of the file, till reading the data of the file, the process will remain the same because ultimately we need to upload the legacy data. We need to migrate the legacy data. It means we have to firstly read the legacy data. So till GUI underscore upload, everything will remain same. The only difference is after reading the legacy data, previously we used BDC recording. Now we will use the BAPI. Now to upload the material master data into SAP, SAP already provided a BAPI and we will use this particular BAPI. So what I will do, I will create a separate program through SC38 till reading the legacy data. I will use the previous logic and after that I will use this particular party. So I will go to SC38 transaction code. I will give some name to the program, suppose ZPRG upload math data suppose and I will do some serial number. I will click on to create button. I'll say to migrate the material master to migrate the materials using Bapi suppose. We'll give a proper description. Type executable. I will save it as a local object. Till GUI underscore upload function module, everything will remain the same. So I will simply copy that logic. If you want explanation, you can listen the video in which we covered till GUI upload. We did a huge explanation at that point of time. I will check the syntax and activate. So what we are doing, we took a input parameter for the file. We are, whenever we are clicking onto this F4 button, we know at selection screen on value request event will call. We are using this function module which will return the full file name, full path of the file. We know whenever we will click on to execute button, start of selection event will call and we are reading the data in the file using GUI upload function module. We are passing the full file name and we are getting that data into this internal table. And we are, our file is separated by tab. So we are enabling tab that we are passing 
tab is equal to true x means true now one important thing we did that type casting also why we did that type casting because p underscore file is character 128 and our file name our file name parameter is of string type so what we did we took a local variable of string type we pass our character to string then we are using this particular string because at that time we received the runtime error and how we resolve the runtime error using type casting i will just delete the extra declarations yes now i will show you up to this level that are we getting the data Firstly, I will change the materials in the file so that we can upload the proper materials. Suppose I will go for materials now. Suppose I will take pmat underscore suppose. We will take 31 suppose, 31, 6, 32, 33, 34, 35. Now I will show you that data is coming into internal table or not. I am putting a breakpoint on GUI underscore upload. I will click on to F4 button. I am selecting the file. Whenever I will click on to this button, start of selection event will call and start of selection we are using the function module gui upload we are passing the full file full file name and it will return the data in the file into this internal table we got the data in the internal table now one by one we will pass the data to which particular BAPI? This particular BAPI, this is our target. Now we will proceed with this particular part. Now I will make a loop on the internal table. Loop at our internal table into work area. Every loop there is a end. Now we all know very well when we cover the BAPI introduction, the logic of the BAPI is always in the function module. We are creating a function module first to write the logic. After that, yes, we have to create a business object to convert into BAPI. But our logic is always, always in the function module. So if I will go to SC37 and I will go to the BAPI, this is our BAPI. We have lots of import parameter, export tables, and in the source code, we have the logic of the BAPI, full flash code of the BAPI. So I will simply call this BAPI using the pattern button. Pattern. I will pass the name of the BAPI. And I will press enter. You can see we have so many parameters. Now we will see we need to pass the values of which which parameter to the BAPI. Now, if you remember, whenever we are creating a material, what we are doing? We are passing the material number first. Okay. After that, we are choosing the industry sector. After that, we are choosing the material type. We are choosing basic data one. As of now, we are using basic data one in the project might be you will go for additional views. 
we are passing the description and we are passing the unit of measurement and our material is getting created by this way same thing same data we have to pass to the DAPI so that our materials will create our data is in the legacy we will pass this data to the uh, to our BAPI so that BAPI can create the materials. Now, if we will check BAPI now, we will check now what are the various columns we need to pass. This is the most important part in terms of BAPI. You have to check the specific columns that this column will be used to pass this particular value. This is the major, major thing in the BAPI. You need to check that you will pass the value to which particular column. Suppose I will go to import parameter and we will check one by one. I will go to first parameter. Suppose first parameter is of this type. I will simply check. What we passed first, material number, it means I will use this column. What we passed after that, industry sector, it means I will use this column. After that, we pass the material type, it means I will use this column. We selected the basic data, it means I will use this. Now, after that, what you did, you pass the description and unit of measurement. Suppose if I will proceed further, I will go to suppose second parameter. If I will double click on the type, you can see we have a unit of measurement. It means we will use this particular column. Now, which we pass the description also. Now, if you want to pass the description in the tables tab, we have the material description. It means I will use this particular thing, particular column to pass the description. So it is very, very important to check the various things means which particular parameter you can use to achieve your requirement. Suppose. If I will go to MM01, till now what we did, suppose I will give some name. Till now what we did, we are passing the basic, basic things. Suppose customer is saying they want division also while creating the material. They want lab slash office also. They want production hierarchy also. It means if you are using the BAPI for data upload, you need to check which where are these columns available in the BAPI. Suppose if I will go to suppose structure, first structure. If I will check here, suppose I will search division. It means you have to use this column if customer is asking for division. Suppose. Customer is asking for lab slash office. So simply you have to use this column lab slash office. Suppose production hierarchy. I'll search for hierarchy. And you can see we have to use this particular column. So major, major part in using the BAPI is you have to check which particular parameter will help you in achieving the requirement and you need to pass the value and SAP will automatically create based upon that. So what we did in this particular video, till reading the file log, till reading the data in the file, everything is same. If you want to go for explanation of the same, you can listen the BDC video because file reading the file logic is same in each and every part. After that, we understood the various things of the BAPI, BAPI material save data. In the next video, we will pass the things one by one to the BAPI and we will 
create the materials. That's it in this video. Thank you.